Hi, this is Jen Kepka, and in this video I'll build on the content of the last video to put a common type of quiz question into the quiz we've already set up on Instructure's free Canvas learning management system. Though Canvas allows users to add a variety of quiz questions, in this video I'm going to focus on the most versatile and perhaps the easiest to use, the multiple choice question. To begin, we'll go back to the quizzes page in our Canvas site. Remember, you can navigate to the quizzes page by clicking on the quizzes link in the left-hand navigation menu. From this page, I can see all of the quizzes in my course, whether they're visible to students or not. It also tells me how many questions are in each quiz in this right-hand column. I'll be working with quiz one, which we started in the last video, which currently has zero questions. To get started editing questions, click on the quiz title. Then, on the quiz screen, click on Edit at the top right-hand corner. This opens the edit screen for the settings, which we have already established. Instead, we want to click on the Questions tab at the top left-hand side of the quiz page. We're given three options, New Question, New Question Group, or Find Questions. Find Questions allows you to search within your own course for existing questions. This is useful if you've already imported questions from a document or an existing test bank. Today, I want to start from scratch, so I'll choose New Question. I could choose New Question Group if I wanted several questions to be all about the same topic or to use the same image or the same media. But I'm going for simple, so I'll pick New Question. At the top of the question editing page, we're immediately prompted to type the question name into the first box. It's helpful to you and your students, not to mention anyone else who may use the course, if you give your questions a descriptive name instead of just question one. So I'll choose question one, comma splice review. Next to this, we have the question type menu. As mentioned, Canvas has a wide array of possible questions, and the type you use depends on the content you'll be quizzing over. I choose multiple choice for now. The final option in this top line is on the right, points. This is per question. Questions can be worth whole points or fractions thereof. So I could put in 1.5 here if I wanted to make it worth slightly more. The actual text of the question goes into the question box that's one line down. Please note that this doesn't need to be text. You can provide a video, an image, even a link to outside resources, all within this box, exactly like every other dialog box in Canvas. I'm just going to use text for now. This should be specific instructions about what you want students to do. After you've entered your question, you'll need to enter answers. Canvas provides four answer blanks automatically, though you can provide additional possibilities at the bottom of the screen by clicking the blue Add Another Answer link. You can also narrow the possibilities by hovering your mouse over the answer box and selecting the small trash can, which deletes that selection. Enter the correct answer at the top next to where it says Correct Answer. Wrong answers will go into the red text boxes next to Possible Answers. Each answer offers a space where you can enter a comment that will appear in the graded view for students. This is a place to put a short piece of feedback, perhaps noting where in the book the answer appeared or in which week a student could find more information. It's available for the correct answer and also each individual wrong answer. The other space for feedback on the quiz is at the bottom. In this green comment box at the left, we can click to open a dialog box. Here, you could enter a longer comment or a multimedia response that students would see only if they responded correctly. The red box, the red box offers a place to enter rich feedback for an incorrect answer. Note that this feedback would be for any incorrect answer, not specifically tied to each answer as the feedback was above. The gray box, offers a place for general comments. This would be visible no matter what a student had answered, correct or incorrect, on the quiz. This is a great place to turn a plain quiz into an opportunity for expanded learning, 
as you can direct students to a new or existing page within the course, to outside review resources, or even to a video where you explain step-by-step -step answers for each question. When you've finished with the question, click on Update Question at the end. It's important to note that Canvas will let you edit questions even after some students have taken the quiz. They will only be notified if you mark this box at the very bottom of the page that says Notify Users that this quiz has changed. Then you need to click Save to make sure all of your changes are published. So there are the basic steps for adding a quiz question into Canvas. This video series covered how to set up a basic quiz and how to add a multiple choice question to make interesting, engaging, and dynamic quizzes for your learners. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.